Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Christian Patrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker and Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! Oh! Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And Lydia, aka Mama Lou, is off again because uh, she is kaputamak. She's a no do so well. So she went for surgery so, for the gallbladder. Yes. So we we mentioned that in our posts about Lydia because that's why she couldn't come to our O Town weekend in philly yes which is what we're going to chat about today but yes. uh yeah so just for those who did not who don't follow us on social media or whatever first of all welcome back it's been about a month since we've posted sorry that's probably our longest stretch of not posting um, well to be fair um we'll be a bit busy and chinzy went on vacation I went and on then vacation. dominican work and has been vacation, busy you? i went out a couple days to winnipeg yes so yes so We've been all over. We've been. Oh, I was gonna. We've been all over, all around the world, but not. We've literally just stayed in North America, but still, not. I was gonna say not in Canada, but Winnipeg is in Canada. So yeah, so. <laughs> not at That's home. Cool. We've been out and about doing. We've things. been out and about doing things, having a grand old time. Grand old time. So yes. Yeah, so that's what we've been up to. Uh, so basically, we had bought these tickets to go see O Town in Philly, yes. and then um, the River Rivers. Uh, co- what is it rivers, called? The Rivers Casino. In rivers Casino. Yep. Yes. So and it's a and, small venue. Yeah, it was. A, it was. Yeah, it was a fair size venue. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I know. guess. I, I guess it was like an old old OLG was, stage. I guess. And eh, no, oh, maybe that one's smaller. Bigger. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying maybe a smaller ballroom. You know, that's a good question. I wonder how what the capacity is for. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed a little smaller because it was. I feel like it, it was just yeah, one um row, like one floor area is basically what I'm trying to say. Yes. The, uh, do, 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 do. it doesn't really specifically twelve hundred people. Okay, yeah, that's a different venue. Hold on. Nope, that's. <laughs> That is the Portsmouth one. Let's check what the Rivers Casino Philly, Philippine, Philadelphia. Wow, I cannot spell. It's all good. Uh, I don't know. About a thousand ish. Yeah, and it's oh, sold this one out. Is saying about seven hundred, maybe. So okay, and it's sold out. Which good it was for sold them. Out. Yes, it was sold out. Dancing 800. And the night yes. before, they were in Pittsburgh for a Lines in a Circle concert, which yes. is so, just by themselves. So that is a just O Town thing. It's their 10th yeah. anniversary of Lines and Circles, which is the album they released when they came back from hiatus. Uh, yes. And obviously, still going strong 10 years later. So they do a couple of things where they would go and they would perform the entire lines and circles album and a couple of their hits obviously all or nothing and all that yes. jazz. um but yeah so that's uh so we were also contemplating that one but that one sold out first um, yes and then also and so we, we thought philly yes sorry yeah all good. yeah i hadn't seen uh bb max so i was like why not go there why not um so as sometimes we do when we purchase concert tickets we don't think of the logistics of how to get there so uh uh it was uh i feel like uh, we bought them because like oh might as well buy them might as well buy it looks it like it's selling, selling very well so we don't want to uh, miss out yes and, and it's it, a good thing we did because the next day it was like basically sold out sold out then a random sixth row tickets came up about a week later and then i'm like oh i don't know what are we gonna do with our other tickets and uh, so we ended up hesitating and then those sold out too so we're like okay well and to be fair you never know like they probably couldn't sell maybe they didn't sell right and then you're we're out of money yes that's true and it's like it's a weird venue like they they have like the old school kind of like tickets 
Um, there was no technical box office that you could call. You couldn't upgrade your tickets. It was like, it was, it was not conducive of some of the other venues that we have been to in the past where you like, yeah. as much as we hate Ticketmaster, at least it's done through a certain way and you can transfer tickets easy and stuff like that. This was more of like, they emailed you the tickets and then yes. once whatever, you buy, so, you buy and that's it. Yeah. So we're like, okay, whatever. So um anyways yes so but we'll let you know like it ended up very well for it us it worked anyways. out well for us yes so basically we were going to take the bus but then we didn't want to take the bus because it's a long ass bus trip because there's no straight i think bus what we said trip. was it's the bus of death greyhound bus of death is what we call and it oh, no, yes. i didn't feel that deathy this time i felt less uh, yeah than usual. i felt like it was pretty good which is like knock on wood like that's good you know but you just never know with these things. So Lydia and Kenny were celebrating their 10-year anniversary. And they yeah. were like, you know Happy what? anniversary to them. Happy anniversary, Lydia and Kenny. It just happened this weekend. That yes. We were this. Um, but anyways, that was coming up. And they love New York City. And Philly is about an hour and a half, two hours from New York City. So they're like, okay, we'll drive with you. And then we'll just go to New York. Thank you to them. So yes, it was nice. So they were like, okay, that's fine um so we were gonna leave early on the friday but then sophia got called into work and then it was other stuff so then basically lydia's been having some stomach issues the last month or so um and they thought it was one thing so she took all the medication for that and then it didn't it helped a little bit but not really and then she called me on the wednesday morning yes it was the Wednesday morning and I was going to book our hotel, but I hadn't booked it yet because I was still trying to figure out what was closest and what would have free parking and all that stuff. So we're like, okay. So I ended up, which um, is a good thing, which ended up being a good thing for sure. Yeah. So then I was at work and Lydia's like, uh, and like Lydia and Kenny's car is broken. And also she's like, can you drive me to urgent care? I'm in a lot of pain. So I was like, okay. So, uh, because, okay. For those who are not Canadian, this is how it basically works. You have a, a family doctor. And if the doctor can't see you, technically, usually you should be able to go to a walk-in clinic. But mm. my doctor is against walk-in clinics or doesn't have a partnership with one and they charge him money. So he's like, don't go to a walk-in clinic, go to urgent care, which is like a step down from an emergency um, like an ER emergency room. Right? Mm. So like, okay, mm. so there was like um, an urgent care kind of near my workplace. So I was like, you know what? I was training some new guys. I was like, there was people in the office. And I'm, like, I'm just going to run up, grab my sister, drop her off. Okay. So we dropped her off. She's like, I feel like I'm being stabbed with knives in the stomach. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, okay, that's great. So we dropped her off. So I dropped her off there and I continue working. And then she calls me like, because usually urgent care takes about three hours. So she called me about two hours later and was like, they need me to go to the actual hospital instead. Can you come drive me? And I was like, okay. So then I picked her up and then drove her across town. Um, and then because I guess the ultrasound guy called in sick for work, so he wasn't there. So they're like, you have to go to the hospital and do it there. So, of course, she's now waiting another three hours at the actual hospital, um, triage and all that stuff. She's not dying, so whatever. So she's in there. And then I finish, I end up finishing work. And then I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to stop mm -hmm. by and say hi to her, whatever. So I end up going up there. Mm -hmm. And she's like, they haven't given me any results. I don't know what's going on. So then mm -hmm. they ended up coming in and the... Uh, the resident she's like okay i'm gonna tell you what you have but i just got to test some things first so she starts like you know testing her feet and blah, 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 and then like pushes her into in her side and she's like ah she's like okay i just want to make sure it still hurts she's like yeah it still hurts she's like okay the surgeon will begin in a bit by and then she took off and then we're like okay what surgeon so we call like her husband and be like i don't know something's i have she they said she had gallstones at this time so we're like okay so she has gallstones that's fine that explains things so then the surgeon and his assistant come in and they're like okay cool yep you have gallstones you gotta take out your gallbladder you're having surgery in an hour and a half and she's like um okay do i have a, an option he's like yes your option is to get in pain again and then have this surgery a few months later so whatever you're gonna i have to do another guy and then i'll do you and then he's like okay bye and then we're like uh we have questions like okay ask the assistant guy so then oh my god uh, we're like okay that escalated super quickly and then yeah. so the other guy uh so we, he, he takes us to a thing to kind of go over the paperwork and stuff um mm -hmm. and then he was like uh lydia's like uh okay so she's like can we call my husband so because he wasn't there because he thought it was just a routine thing so he's like yeah yeah so they, we call he's on like speaker and stuff he's okay so lydia's like well what's the doctor's name mm -hmm. and he's like um and he had a bit of an accent and he's like 
it sounded like he said Dr. Death. And then he was like, Dr. Death? I don't want to go to surgery with Dr. Death. And, oh and the guy's man. like, not death, death, D-A-T-H. And then he's like, oh my god he's like he will i can understand you. i can understand because lydia doesn't like medical procedure i don't think anybody likes medical procedures but to have this she thought they were just gonna get some sort of pain pills or like do something whatever did not think she was actually going in for removal he's like basically dr death uh what is a specialist in gallbladders and he just happened to be at the hospital that day so oh, like, wow lucky like a series of events that everything worked out great so he's like so then the doctor's like okay we'll have you in surgery in about an hour so lydia's like okay cool so we could say to kenny we're like hey do you want me to come pick you up or um is it is your mom gonna drop you off and he's like oh um my mom will drop you off whatever so like okay so then my mom ended up coming lydia went to the bathroom she comes out of the bathroom they're like, okay, here you go. Here's the gown. And Lydia's like, okay. So she goes to put on the gown and comes out and they start asking her like rapid fire questions. When did this, when did you last eat? Da, 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 da. They're like, okay, yeah, you're good. We're going to take you now. And we're like, this has not been an hour. This has been like five minutes. So we're like, wow, okay. that's crazy. So like, what? So then we end up going um, and they're like, you can walk her down mm -hmm. to like the, um, the surgery waiting room area. So we're like, okay. So we ended up like walking there. She goes in. Meanwhile, Kenny is still not there because it's only been 15 minutes. So then he finally like comes and he's like, I'm like, she's already in for surgery. He's like, what the hell? Like this wasn't so anyway. So we ended up waiting and then I don't think they actually took her in right away. I don't think they took her in for a few hours, but originally they said to us, yeah, if everything goes good, we'll have a release by midnight and she can go home. So we're like, okay. So like, 11 o'clock comes still nothing we're like uh hello they're like oh no she's still in surgery and we're like what the hell like why is this taking so long like so right. we're stressed out 12 15 and we're like okay like what the hell and they're like oh yeah no she's out of surgery and we're like like did the surgeon not come to talk to you I'm like uh obviously not and they're like oh yeah no she's not going home tonight we're like okay great wow so we end up going they let us say good night to her and they basically told Kenny he couldn't stay because whatever. So he had to go home. It was so, visiting hours, was, I guess, right? Well, yes, but they said because she wasn't like, she was still coming out of anesthetic. Like, oh, it, okay. wasn't, it wasn't necessary. It was not life-threatening. It's not the coherent. Surgery went, the surgery went well. Like, it wasn't like she was going to die in the middle of the night or anything. So, okay. um, so That's then like, the but it was like, she was so out of it. And then we're like, Lydia, are you okay? And she's like, oh, no, oh, oh no, no. And we're like, okay can you hear us no i'm like are you okay pain and we're like oh, god. oh my god and then like kenny kissed her head and then she was like Ooh. we're like okay i guess she's coherent a bit but it was like really funny so That's basically funny. long story long um they could not come with us on friday which was like she got released she stayed overnight she got released like thursday afternoon but obviously she's in a lot of pain can't come um, with us understandable so she totally understandable things, yes in new york city when you're whatever right so yeah you're not allowed to do much anyways when those kinds of things yes happen. And, it, and it's good i guess it's also good that it happened like two days before because if this would have yeah. happened when she was in the states we would have been fucked because yes because yeah, a it would have cost a gazillion dollars and because uh it cost us nothing to get this done so yeah exactly all it costs is like your pain medication afterwards yes. so like surgery everything was all free mm -hmm. uh, and we found free parking so we didn't even have to pay for parking so like basically yeah, so so all in all a good thing all a good thing so yeah. she got her surgery and now she's resting at and home now she's resting she's taking some time off of her uh v tubing as well because yeah it's just she's very tired and in pain and then she got a rash from her bandages because she has very sensitive Aww. skin so like she yeah from the adhesive so all the bandages are off and it looks like it's healing well so knock on wood she should be good yes so yes best wishes to wish live. her a speedy recovery yes so and long, we'll hopefully long, see her soon long. on the podcast hopefully maybe. she will be back soon so yes. yes um but because of that we obviously no longer could uh, drive because yes it's a long drive and i'm super tired so yeah. uh we ended up just and at the end it, it worked out very well because uh sometimes during the drive i was like yes it's probably best that uh you didn't drive because when we were crossing the border uh you were resting your eyes i was very tired and I yes. not sleep understandable so yes, yes. Uh, anyway so we ended up going uh so the irony being is that 
I don't if you guys don't know where we are. So Niagara Falls, Buffalo is here, <laughs> Hamilton is here, and then Toronto is here. So I took the train to Toronto to meet up with Sophia so then we could drive past Hamilton and back to the thing. So uh, all in all, it was a 15 hour bus ride each way because technically actual ridey part was maybe 13 hours because we had like a two hour layover in New York because they don't go straight. Let's round it up 15 hours. But it was basically 15 hours in total of movement. So and then also Taylor Swift was in town in Toronto. So there was a lot yeah. of Swifties and stuff. So they had uh, the signs going, uh, pointing this way to the arrow. This is where you go. It was yeah. quite eventful. It was very, uh, yes. Yeah. So it wasn't surprisingly, it wasn't too busy, but it was fun to see like everyone's outfits and stuff as they were. Getting yeah, it was very cute. Stuff. I really liked that people's like um, hair stuff that they put yeah. in there. They had like stars and like hearts and their oh, outfits were cute. Yeah was very cute so yeah so anyway so we and our prime minister also went with hers with his daughter so yes. that's cool yes he went to this last weekend right yes i believe friday was friday yes yeah, so she has now left the country she's gone. She has now left the country and she's on her way to vancouver for the last shows last of the tour. do they have six shows there too i think it's three i'm not sure I can't remember. Anyways, but maybe. For, for Toronto, they had six shows. They were all sold out. Uh, three one week and three the other weekend. So, yeah, it was anyway. quite the adventure, apparently, to get tickets. People apparently were waiting outside the venue at 820. She's like already on stage playing yeah. and they're still waiting for tickets because apparently the tickets were crazy expensive. It was even when she dollars. Yes. Even when she was playing, usually it goes down. When the concert starts but not these ones yeah yeah it's a crazy yeah and they had like a fun events as well around the they city had they had like, gate yeah they had so, uh, the convention center was their own like taylor version of stuff yep so they had uh, oh. bracelet making and hair and other fun yeah. stuff if you didn't want to that's pretty cool yeah that's good it's good and she did and she did um she donated money to the food bank. Food bank, I think. As well. Yeah. And so that's cool. And uh, lots of money in the economy. So she's a win, win for all, really. They also made some Taylor Swift signs around the stadium. And then they offered yes. those, I believe, also for the food bank as well. So Yes. Yes. So I just thought it was cool. Like, you know, like, that's like, that would be like us if we had like a Backstreet Boys uh Yes, those kinds of things. Be nice if they could sell out six nights, but I don't. Think it would be happen. nice. Yes. yes. Oh, they've done a few two night ones, but yeah. Yeah. Not, but imagine back in the day, though, like in two thousand. Back in the day, yeah. That would have been pretty cool. I'm sure they would have. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, uh, back to what we're talking back about. To Philly. Philly. So basically, we got to Philly um, around. So we got to Wait, New York City. Should we talk about our driver? Do you remember the bus driver's name? I don't remember. Dan the man. Dan. Dan. Oh my God. The... Can I just say, like, every time we had like um, a break, he was like, don't get lost. Don't get lost. I'm like, don't worry. I need to be on this bus. Dan so I will was not very, get lost. He uh, was very efficient and good at his he job. He was very enthusiastic at one point. He was saying something and I was like, is this a good thing? And I was like, oh, it's going well. And we just started this bus trip. So he basically only accompanied us from Toronto to Buffalo. But in the summer, he says he does the express route, Toronto to New York without any stops. Mm -hmm. So that's why he did not have that this time. Uh, and he was going to hand us off. quite a comedian. It was quite funny. He was, yeah, he was very entertaining. Um, like, wow, it's, that's good. It's like passing the time. So I was like, that's fun. Yes. Yes. And then and when we uh, got to Buffalo, it was a very serious bus driver, and we're like, okay, we miss, we kind of miss Dan. Where's this yeah. uh, enthusiasm? The Buffalo man was very like straight laced, like, uh, like very strict. Like, okay. He was also like one o'clock in the morning, so understandable, well, that's also perhaps. True. Andreas. And then yes, so anyways, when, you, when you've enjoyed, uh, when you've enjoyed the entertainment, it's kind of hard, you know. You're like, oh, Dan was kind of cool. 
So we like when you get to the when you cross the bus on the um, the border on a bus, you have to get off the bus, take all your luggage with you and then like go through customs. Oh, yes. I forgot about this part. And yes. then he's like, don't forget your stuff. Don't forget. I'm like, OK, thank you. We're like, thank you, Dan. I don't think the bus is going to leave us without. But OK, <laughs> but I guess you have to go through the they have like a little like bag checker thing. Anyway, yeah. so we walk in and then they're calling us all over. So I ended up getting like a younger guy around our younger like around our age ish i would say uh and he's like where are you going and i'm like oh because we we're like shit do we say we're going to new york because that's where this bus is going or do we say oh, no we're going i was to like philly? i don't even know what to say really we're like you know what we'll just say we're going to philly so whatever so yeah. he's like okay uh where are you going we're like philly they're like why i'm like for the pop 2000 concert and he's like who's playing that one and then i was like oh you know o-town chris from sync bb mac um brad from elfo he's like holy crap I haven't heard o-town and bb mac in years and then I was, he's like well that's a blast from the past he's like they're, they're still around i'm like they sure are they're they're still around and still touring and then he goes to the other guy who's probably like 10 to 15 years older than us <laughs> and he's like god dude you remember o-town and the guy's very straight list laced border guards like no and then i was like you know <laughs> He's like, he's like, you don't know O-Town? I was like, you know, like Liquid Dreams, All or Nothing. And he's like, no, I do not know. I am much older than you girls and whatever. And then I said, oh, so you're a new kids on the block fan. And then he <laughs> did not even crack a smile. <laughs> so my border guard was like, okay, you can go. <laughs> so like and he was asking everybody else like how long are you gonna be here did you bring any of this he asked me none of these questions i was like all right that's so funny he's like, like i had enough of your comedian uh ways i mean you can go everybody else was so serious though i don't know was your guy did he say my guy asked me like two questions and he's like take a picture and you can go I'm like, okay fantastic yeah. oh yeah I I literally like, yeah he so literally was like um, where are you going time. i said i'm going to i'm going to um philly it's like where are you like how long are you going for? I'm like, till Sunday. Yeah. Take a picture. Here's his back I like here. whipped off my glasses and was like grinning. And then Sophie's like, why the fuck are you smiling in this thing? I'm just like, you know what? It, it was pretty funny. Good. And then he's like, here's your passport. I was like, okay, thank you. And then we had to put our bags in the thing. And they're like, do you have any fruits and vegetables and stuff? We're like, no. Lies. I had carrots, guys. They, the machine did not catch the baby carrots. Oh my God, it was funny. Snacks snacks and then chinzia's favorite cheesies okay listen every time i go on a trip i'm always freaking hungry and then it costs like five dollars for a small bag of chips so we ended up i ended up buying a giant bag of cheetos like right before i left thinking okay it's not Mm going to be that full because it's usually a lot of air not the case with cheetos apparently they basically fill it up to the top of the bag so it was very difficult to like Keep oh my around. god yes yeah. but we have i appreciate it Chinzia. we did enjoy that i still and have... we did enjoy the carrots as well and uh i we guess it was like party mix. carrots and then ate some so yes yeah and then i was like oh i'm not gonna eat carrots, like, carrots but then i, I also I think didn't because like we ate tea. i think because we ate like um mcdonald's we're like yes i have to balance it out let me eat some vegetables you need some carrots to bring back yes. to cut down on the scurvy yes. So yes um beef jerky which was too thick and sophia hated it and then also yeah. we had some like but i tried it it was good thing. enough but yes uh anyway so we get to new york we go to mcdonald's we get on the bus we go to philly we get dropped yes, off this is around 6 45 7 8 45 so we get to philly at like 10 30 and we are dropped off under a bridge and we're like they're like okay this is philly we're like <laughs> okay so we like get out of the bus this was the flicks bus as we took yes we didn't take yeah anyway so we get off and we're like okay whatever so now we're like That's flicks bus uh that company um owns now greyhound owns and all greyhound that. so yeah. yeah but we run yeah so yes we get off under a bridge in broad daylight so i'm like okay great so then i decide to go look at my tickets to see where we have to pick up this bus at 3 30 in the morning and it's also under this bridge i'm like cool cool so we're like great we're just under a bridge so then we just started walking we're like you know what we've been on buses for like 15 hours let's just keep let's just start walking and then i look to see how far it is because uh sophia has made that we needed to get to the rocky statue and the steps so we're like walking. because i don't know if you know this but i'm a huge rocky fan my brother cousin and i we like bonded over this we watched all the movies we went to the theater obviously the ones that you know 
the later ones we went to the theater the the older ones obviously we were not alive during that time yes i think they started <laughs> in the 70s i think it was 78 i want to say okay something like that so yeah and and then i've never been to philly so like we have to do this and then we had time so we're like this is perfect and i tried to pack light guys i just had a backpack and i and the nick carter packed- pack Sophia yeah, had a bag and a plastic bag. Uh, I had a plastic um, bag and it was it worked wonders. So I'm like, okay, we have it. We've been on a bus. Let's start walking. And then we're going to, and then we got approximately four blocks. And I was like, yeah, no, I think we're good. We're, we're like, this is a lot of walking. And we're kind of like, because we were thinking if we waste our energy for this, we won't be able to go up the steps. That's so true. we're like, okay, let's get a lift. And yeah, so it was just kind of like, uh, okay, yeah, this is a um, it was like an hour walk, right? It was going to be about an hour walk. Um, yeah. But I was just like, I don't know if I could be on the Amazing Race. I've gone four blocks with a tiny backpack, and I'm just like, Ugh, I've given up. I don't care. Anyway, so we took a lift there. We got there. Um, so the Rocky statue is at the museum. Yes. And yes, I can start showing pictures again. Look at the art museum. Yes, so let's show some pieces. So that is there was the statue, the Rocky shop, and then the steps up to go to the art museum. And when we got off uh, the lift, when we got out of the lift, we walked to the step. And I, I turned around and looked at Chinzi and I was like, I know it is just a statue, but I'm very excited for this. And then Chinzi was like, don't worry, I understand. <laughs> yes, so this guy... This has enough. Uh, this guy went up and down the steps a thousand times. It oh. took him 40 hours. He's a world record holder. So as we saw that yeah. while we were getting in line. Here is Sophia with the Rocky statue. Yes, we did. I did the Rocky pose. Chinzi oh, also did the Rocky pose. We, we did it together. Then there's we went to... basically like a little shack that it has. It's like the Rocky shop. So then around it, yep. it has paintings of each of the uh, movies each of the movies yep rocky so. one rocky two rocky three rocky four rocky five i didn't see rocky six so maybe they forgot to do rocky six maybe anyway. yes yeah. yeah, so then we went in uh we looked around there was lots of rocky stuff uh sylvester stallone also has like um uh, merch, in, merch there. in there yeah so that's cool because he also has like a sly stallone shop mm-hmm. so it was pretty cool stuff. We're like, huh, oh, I'm too cheap to buy anything, but we will take pictures, no problem. Hey, it was cool to just even look at it. Yes, it's a cute little shop. It had a lot of different items. And it has like um, one like big quote, if I can change and you can change, everybody can change, which is from Rocky Four after he won in Russia. And basically he was, uh, it was basically him against the world. Him against then the world. But again, but then the Russian people loved him because he said like this. He was the underdog, so they were like, "Yes, Adrian." I don't know which one that's from. That's the first uh, one. Yes. So okay, so it's called the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So if you're ever in Philly, yeah. that's where it is. Um, and then Sophia ran up the stairs, seventy-two uh, steps. So there is a video on my Instagram. I'm, I'm headed. There's there also right video here. on here as well. But I made like a little right, reel. Mute I love music. to make reel. Um, it's very cool. Oh, yes. Yes. So Sophia I running did. all the way up, and I ran so all the way up, and all- I did four more steps. So Chinzia could take a video of me going up, and I then just um, walked up the steps. I didn't <laughs> run. Uh, yes. Sophia was like, so she got up there, and then this is, and the then I did viewpoint. all the rocky, all the rocky po- uh, poses that he does in the movie. He did like that. It was fun times. So she was doing all the, the poses and doing the thing. And then and we got yeah, like how excited we are. They have like a little foot thing there too with his like yeah shoe rocky steps. Why, that's why they call it rocky steps because Rocky's uh, shoes are there. Yes, and so. I took photos with the uh, the wall of the different movies. Yes. Then I added the statue picture and the and the statue. I just did all the poses, really. You did all the poses. Up oh, and then there's the Rocky step. The yeah. The feet. Yeah. Yes. So. And then I got lots of likes and lots of comments. 
four comments, but that's fine. Oh, did one. I just remembered I also did that. Hold on, let me find Yes. It, it was one. very exciting. Mine was a lot shorter because I also I just ran up the little That's okay. Uh, Nobody knew. <laughs> yep. So there's me running up in my flip flops, wearing my backpack. Oh, can I just little, say it was like, a very nice thing? day? It was November 16th. It was a very, and a very nice, nice warm. day. Yes. It was a beautiful yeah. day to go that day. I'm glad we went that day because it was beautiful. Yes. Okay, let's go back to this tab. All right. So, yeah, so it was very nice at the stairs. We were good. And then we walked down. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that was a good omen for the day. It was a great start to the day. It was, I was like, yes. Yeah. The sun was shining. Yes. We sat on a ledge that we almost, you know, <laughs> fell off of we, we didn't fall off but like we had to be careful sitting on it yes and then we knew nothing about philly so then we went down and there was like a little like garden across the street and then there was this walkway that had all these flags of like all the different countries which was yeah. pretty cool and it would have the name like, of the country and then yeah. also the name in the, that language underneath yes well. so we found the greece flag which was cool and then yeah. we're like, oh, why is Canada not like on here? Because we couldn't see it, right? Then we but eventually found Canada. We had to walk all the way in the beginning of it. I guess it starts from the, all the other on the other side. I guess it started the other way, and I guess they're alphabetical. So yeah, so that's why. So we got closer to the alphabetical order way, and then we found it. And then there was this cute little fountain there. Oh, and then there was this Amore thing. And then there was yes. a guy and a girl there that we were like, oh, we'll take your picture. And she was, he was into it, but she was not. It was like, mm, I don't I know. I was like, are you guys connection. together? Like, I don't know if this is Amore at all. Yeah. And then we went to Pat's. Yes. So then this is also in the Rocky movie. So this is the original yep. Philly cheesesteak people. So it's Pat, yep. King of Steaks. Yep. Uh, and they're right across the street from Gino's. Gino. Yes. Um, so so we're driving, people, so see, there's a big debate in Philadelphia of which one is better. Uh, majority of the people say this one is better. Pat's King of Steaks um, apparently has better, like, um, the way that they cook the steak apparently is better. So, yes. Yeah, so uh, it's been around since 1930. They have, like, the regular cheese steak, regular steak. Then the, our driver was our lift driver was like, oh yeah, the pizza steak is so good. I'm like, that seems odd. I've never heard of that, but sure, let's get it. So we're like, uh, let's get the original Philly cheese steak and then maybe the other one because yes. if we don't like one, at least we have the other one. Yes, it was not the great. And then they had like a couple of condiments, like they had, I think ketchup and mustard. I think because they had. Um, a couple of other things because they had hot dogs but then they also had this mm -hmm. red sauce which i was like oh maybe this is like a little bit of a hot sauce holy crap it was so <laughs> spicy and i put so much on without and i'm like oh god this is gonna kill me and this <laughs> is their competition literally across the street gino steaks and they have uh one window is to order the philly cheesesteak and the other window is to order like fries pop water that kind of thing Yes, Coffee and tea. cash is king. Um, and they charge extra if you're going to use your credit card. Uh, and then you all, they also ask if you want it with or without. So with, so you have to say like with, onions, with, wit, and yes. then I they don't use the, the H first in one, with. Right? And then I fucked up the second one, and he's like, which or without? I'm like, oh, no, which? Mm -hmm. I guess. He wasn't mean about it because I read somewhere on the internet. Uh, that you have to like know what how to order, and I was like, oh my god, I'm getting like nervous. Yeah, was and... very stressed out, so she made. Then I was like, Trinvia, you can do it for us. Yes, so yes. thanks, Trinvia. I appreciate it. I appreciate you that you did it for us. But at this point, it was now cold because it was not yes. cold when we were at the Rocky thing, and I think very we were also shadows. in like we were also in like the shade. In the shade, and then there yes. was also like. We got cheese fries and they basically congealed, congealed instantly because it was so yes. cold. That's right. Uh, and then we decided, and also there, it's it's an outdoor seating area. There's no indoors at this Pat's thing. It Which was, was kind of perfect, path. right? We went up the steps and then it was like lunchtime. Yep. I feel like that was good. Yes. So, oh, and then I, it also has a thing saying like, this is where Sylvester Stallone filmed Rocky. One of the scenes from Rocky. Yep. 
Yep. So we did that. Um, yep. This is, I made Sophia, my phone died at this point. This is a pay phone that with no hands of it. Yes. Yes. And then there was like this really cute little like market, which was also in the movie, I guess, where he runs through the market. Uh, uh, yes, but not this one. Okay. Gia I think Gordano? that, yeah. I think, yeah, like over here. Yeah, yeah. That one there, yeah. Jordan, Jordano's market. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So there was like a bunch of different things. So instead of running through it, because it would have looked weird, like why is this person like running through it? Um, I walk. I, I went to the first part of it and I, I walk. This is all the way man. through. Sorry. Yeah. I've hit that first batch of Sophia's pictures that were uploaded. This is my pictures. You can't really see him, but yeah. this is Dan, the man who was our bus driver. But it was very and cool. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry. It was very yeah. cool to go through uh, the supermarket as well. All in all, a very good Rocky experience, honestly. Honestly, it was really cool. It was fun. Yeah. And there's lots so of if cute you're little fan, stores on that free. road. Yeah, there was exactly. Like Mexican restaurants. There was like different farmers markets. There was a fish guy. There was all the, it had a bunch of cute little like things on, down the street. Uh, so there was a the flower person there as well selling flowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if you're a Rocky cool. fan, it's really cool. Even if you're not a Rocky fan, it's really cool. Just a very cute little area for sure. Yeah. Um, going back to the bus trip, if you have never yeah. been to the Buffalo, um, Bus station. bus station you have not witnessed the delightful prison toilets that they have which are stainless steel without any sort of um toilet seat cover and it's like apparently they're more, more sanitized it's, it's cleaner Sanitary, apparently yep. to have um but let me tell you when it's cold outside and these are indoors and you sit on one of these it is like an ice cube on your butt so just a warning of that so oh i also stopped it this is new york on our way in that was our mcdonald's yes um i thought this was called nerd street but it's north third street i was like what a weird name for a street uh okay so those are all my rocky pictures ah, forgot about that one Look me, guys. I'm such a badass. I don't know what I'm kind of making here. So cool. I don't know what's happening. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, so it's basically the same pictures that Sophia took. Uh, yeah, so basically after we went through the little market, we're like, okay, uh, it was around what, like three-ish? Yeah, two -ish. close to three. Yeah, two thirty. And we're like, I guess we could go to um, the venue because it's a casino. Yeah. So we decided and to go you to the And the VIP was at 5.30, I think you said? 5, 5.45 or was my 5.45, yeah. So, yes. so we were like, okay, you know what? We have nothing else pressing to see Rocky-wise, and it's getting cold. So we started yeah. walking, and then it got warm again. I don't know. It was just like, oh, there's Sophia with the grease flag. I feel like we we did a lot of things. We in the hours so. that we and had also, i felt like we did a pretty good amount of things yes i agree um and also we retired because we really didn't sleep on the bus on the way down like i slept right. a bit but it was not a comfortable sleep so i feel like it was like two uh, maybe two to three hours and then it was very really a bumpy ride yeah it was especially from new york to i just felt like we were being flung around because there's like, a lot of like curves and bumps stuff. right like i'm like are you are you like driving on bumps like what's happening so this was the pizza philly cheesesteak and yeah. and this one we got american um american cheese. cheese i think yes yeah and then that one was the cheese whiz the cheese whiz was very good yes it was very good. a plus a plus this was somebody's tattoo oh, oh and uh, tattoo. I took uh, photos and posted it on Instagram. And the other day, um, Pat's King of Steaks, whoever owns that account, yeah. liked it and hearted and posted a heart, a heart uh -huh. uh, comment. So that's so nice. Yeah, that is very nice. So that was on your Instagram. Yeah. This one. Show this to Yes. Yeah. Do you really have a heart? Steak. Yum. Uh, da, 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 da. lovely 
Um, okay, so back to this tab. Okay, so then while we were there, we were like, okay, um, I also forgot that casinos in the States have smoking areas and not yes. smoking areas. So we like had to go through security and they checked our bag. And I was like, well, I really hope they're not going to take our bag because I'm like, sorry, we came on a bus. He was like, yeah, you're fine. I just got to make sure you're not bringing any alcohol. I was like, okay. So um, at this point, I had spilled Philly cheese stuff all over myself. So I was covered in that. And I'm like, I have another outfit to change into. And I wasn't going to bring a third dress for the ride back. But good thing I did because I spilled. So I had something that was not. uh, So ran into our friend Courtney. Uh, She has this cool tattoo of an LFO one on a rich on her Devin with the shoes. Very nice. And her husband was there. And she's the one that gave us uh, the uh, the friendship bracelet. I am still wearing that. I got an Eric Michael Estrada one. Uh, I got an O-Town, O-Town one. She had a BB Mac one, so it was very cute. Uh, we attempted to order ice cream, but I was tired, and the person that worked there was confused, so instead we ordered this really terrible drink. Didn't you say, like, she was brand new or something? I was like, wow, the first day. It was just like, this is terrible. Uh, I also thought it was really cute that the little dispensers had the Pop 2000 yeah. for uh on there so of course we had to take a photo with it of course oh, oh. gotta scooch past all these videos because they're loud and i don't know how to turn off the sound a lot of videos well, maybe it was on so your check phone. Out our thing if you want to see videos yeah oh my god ma'am did you take a video of every single <laughs> no i just took a okay. video of some okay so that you know what though because i feel like i let me jump to my pictures here whoop what is i have messed this up um okay so we basically went hung around for a bit then we like got changed i got got changed in the bathroom at the casino Mm -hmm. i also got Um, changed after you i bought a sparkly dress i was like you know what Yes, because I was just like, eh, I don't know. So we went to go see where the people were. And we found a couple of like townies and people that we know. Because um, they had obviously, so it was like one meet and greet after another. So I think it was O-Town first, then BB Mac, then LFO, then Chris. And then, yeah, so um, there were, where am I? Here, these are my pictures. So yes, this is us. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this sparkly dress. I liked it for a bit, but then by the end of the night, it was like scratching my arm. And I was like, yeah, you were again. like, um, you were like putting oh, it so down weird. a little. You're like, oh, my God, it's like scratching it's me. I'm like, oh, no, jokey. it was. Yeah. So, yeah, I like the idea of sparkly outfits, but I don't. So this is Margaret. She's a townie. Uh, there's me looking half asleep. Uh, Miss Bozzy. These are these are the girls. Wow. I did not realize how blurry this picture is. So these are the Chris VIP girls. Uh, <laughs> They were like, oh my God, they were like so fun. Um, I've totally forgotten every single person's name right now because my mind is blank. Um, and I repeated their names multiple times. So I apologize if you're listening. You were all very lovely people. Um, so basically, and one of them came from California. Uh, one mm-hmm. of them was from Philly. It was her first time. So some people had met Chris a bunch of times. Some hadn't met him. So it was nice. Uh, mm-hmm. She's wearing a name drop shirt. This one, she was wearing a sure shot shirt. Oh my uh, God. The, yes. From Mission Man Band. Uh, yes. We were was... coming up with questions to ask Chris if he ever came on our podcast. And we talked about one of this um yes, one of the questions was similar yes and you know what i also forgot to do was post the audio so actually i haven't actually figured out where i put the audio so uh so yeah so that's basically us and then holy crap this is really bad this is so blurry so it's bryn um and she's like you look really familiar i was like i don't know i have a podcast and she's like no you're a backstreet boys fan i was like yes I am. and i'm like i'm in the middle of all the nsync fans right now and she's like outing me for being an actual boys fan but i'm like whatever like we all like all boy bands. Like we're grown now it's okay to love multiple boy bands it's true so we were kind of like waiting around for chris and stuff um but then i actually audio recorded the entire thing but i have no idea where it's saved on my phone so. 
Um, so I do you have like have a it. file that says like downloads? Can that possibly be? Maybe. Or yeah, I don't my know. files, maybe. Maybe yeah. Audio. Something. Hold on. Yeah. Audio. Nope. These are very old. Huh. By date, maybe. I don't know. Maybe go to that day that it that it happened. Oh, and maybe was there. it November sixteenth? Yes. Okay, then yes, I do have it. Excellent. I don't know what to do with it or if we need put it up, but uh Yeah, I guess you could like put it on YouTube and it I could just know. be audio on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if that's fair to the people. Maybe we'll just listen. <laughs> Can't even anyways it was like so we're hanging around so there was about nine of us i think eight or nine but then one person was missing was confused and there were some volunteers anyways mm -hmm. it all ended up being good chris came in obviously he he actually recognized quite a few people in the room which i thought i think that's a really nice thing about chris because obviously he mm -hmm. meets lots of people but like his chris people like he's just like he knows and this one the one girl that i met was telling me that when she met Chris years ago, um, she it was right after Nash was born and Nash is like seven. So, uh, and she was having infertility issues and stuff, but then she ended up having like a kid and then she met him a few years later um, when she was pregnant with her second son. And so it's interesting. So like Chris comes in and he like looks and he sees people and he's like, hey, 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 oh, okay. Like, you know, whatever. But then like midway through the chat, she was saying something and he's like, how's your son doing? So he like still remembers. Oh, her. nice. So like, he is really good at that. Like. That's good. Really good. So yeah. Cause so, not all, not all artists are like that. Not all artists are like that. And it's, and you know how some people like pretend, but like you can like, that they know people but you can actually like see it in his eyes like like genuine sound like genuine oh, wow look at me but like the same like he comes in he's like hey what are you doing like you know like you're like okay he's like looking he sees the person he's like whatever right so then mm. it, it was cool so like he def there was definitely a bunch of like the chris fans in there so was, you can tell nice. right genuine you can tell when mm -hmm. he's genuine. a very genuine person he's a sarcastic asshole i love this man love him even more yes, if he actually ever gets funny. on a podcast but He's like super funny. So then we were like talking about like the Mike Tyson fight the night before. And then he was like going through that. And then we were like just chit chatting. Oh, um, yes, we watched the Mike Tyson fight and it was over like very quickly. And then we were like, yes, let's watch the documentary, the boy band, larger than life boy band documentary. We watched that on the bus as well. I forgot to cancel my free trial. So if you would like uh, to watch it again, we can all we can both watch it again and then do an episode on that. Okay. Because I was going to say like do we even remember what happened? Uh we were so we tired, but it was a good documentary. Like, it was it very was, good, yeah. It was a fun, it was quick. It was the one that um Johnny Wright put together. It's called yeah. Larger, Larger Than, than Life. Life boy band the life of a boy band something like that yeah so it was like it was pretty cool uh very briefly touched on lou but this one was more about like actual like boy bands throughout the years and how they yeah. formed and all that stuff and who was the original one and this and that and new kids came along and it really talked about like the fans and like uh fangirls are just as important as a fan and like uh, i don't know donnie Wahlberg. donnie was, like, Wahlberg had some like, really a good lot. quotes I really loved it. Obviously, AJ always uh, champions us as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah, really good. It was good. It was, it was a good. It was a good fun documentary. It was like a cutesy yeah. little one. But yes, maybe. Oh, and yes. Um, on Instagram, I wrote that Johnny always champions us, and he liked the comment. Oh, so. nice. Oh, so really, it's all for us. It's for all of us. Yes. It's for yeah. Sure. It's good times. So yeah, so the Chris uh, meet and greet thing was about half an hour. It was pretty good. The one girls they invited him. There's gonna be a a brunch next year, I think in Philly. I want to say it's in March. They invited Chris to the brunch. They're like, hey, you should come to this. It's, I think it was called. It's gonna be brunch, and I think it was supposed to happen a few years ago, but then the pandemic happened and things didn't work out. So. Is this um, an event that he's promoting or? No, it was just like an event that oh. they're putting on and they invited him to come. So they gave him a, they hand delivered an invitation to him and said, hey, you should oh, come. Okay. No idea if he will. Who knows what his schedule will be like, but it's still kind of fun. Yeah. Um, there was other, like, yeah, it was cute. Shoot they had a bunch shot, of right? Shoot the uh, shot. 
so then um people were like asking questions and stuff it was like fun and just going off on random tangents as as this man does he was yeah. talking about his mom had just had her 70th birthday so they were all down in florida i believe and they had rented a house or something and all the family was there and then oh because he was like oh damn it. um so they were watching the game or something and apparently nobody in his family likes sports so i said something like go sports he's like Rrr! and then that set him off on a tan tangent about it. it's like nobody likes sports oh go sports nobody knows that. i'm just like okay there buddy chill your tits like it was so it was you triggered funny. him <laughs> it was pretty funny i was like okay um but then i did ask a question because i thought like i wanted to give other people a chance to answer questions like ask questions because whatever mm -hmm. um and then i was like did you want to ask something They're like no so mm -hmm. then i was like okay building off her shirt like the shirt shirt because he thought the sure shot shirt was hilarious and he loved it and i was just like so. he's really into the this um the humor he, he's very good at both humor oh my god there was he gets all the jokes he's very he does. good he's it. really funny first of all oh, there was a, an awkward joke that had happened because he was talking about mike tyson and the whatever his name is jake paul logan paul jake paul was, yeah logan, logan paul, paul is uh he's his like brother. he's beating up an old man obviously he's going to win blah 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 so he was saying that so he's like that would be like us you know fighting against one direction and then we're like whoa and he's like oh shit too soon and then he went on a thing about like obviously how sad it was that Liam is passed and all that stuff. And we're like, my dude. Um, so anyway, so then I said, so my question at the end was like, you know, building on her shirt here, like, would you, he's like, I would never do that again. Never. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And he's like, I basically only did it because Rich asked me to do it. And I said, okay, fine, we'll do it. He's like, and obviously I love Jeff. And that's basically where he like ended. Obviously I don't know. Love is, he did not mention <laughs> brian but i feel like there's uh no love lost there i feel like there was like a tiff during that time with those two yes. but anyway so i said if you would have he's like i would never do this again i was like okay if you were because we were also like ribbing him about in sync getting back together and it was just kind of like um he said because somebody had asked him would he ever do a, a, a solo a, another solo album because he kind of had like nigel's 11 and stuff i don't know if he actually did like an official solo mm -hmm. album or not but he's like no he doesn't feel comfortable he feels like he's more of a group voice so he would not want to do it by himself like he does not want to release his own album that's uh, fair it's not for fair. everyone and then they're like well if in sync ever got back together if they you guys did solo songs <laughs> like shiny <laughs> teeth in me that's what we're going with on here like it was pretty funny um but anyways, that's amazing uh he i was like would you ever like put together a band like whatever so then he started like like who else would be in this like fictitious boy band like your neck sure shot like who are you? so then he was like naming people i which now i've totally forgotten who it was did you write it down in your memo AJ, no it would be in that song because i didn't want to oh. type anything because i was it'll be in that recording so oh, i'll okay. figure it out later but uh i believe he did say aj he said i think he said brian too um and then brian literal? Saying, yeah apparently he they're friends now him and brian literal and that you, they didn't used to be and i was like well he hate i go he hated you guys and he's like thank you <laughs> thank you captain obvious yes <laughs> it was very interesting but then he was like he's like obviously the o-town guys this i'm like my friend you've now got more than your four members and then he was just like naming off a whole bunch of people really we should just have everyone all the boy bands together and then... like you could have like he's like i guess somebody from one direction I'm like you should take niall i think niall's a good one i just because i like niall uh and then he's like and then yeah so he was just kind of like naming a bunch of boy bands mm -hmm. it was like more like we're like he's like oh i need a new kid we're like donnie Wahlberg, like he would love this mm -hmm. shit so then we were like mm -hmm. talking so it was it was a fun little thing so then mm -hmm. that was done so then we went out to go do our pictures um so yes we did that so That's they were on, he was on the other side picture the yes i don't know it's okay picture but whatever uh and then like, i got yeah, him to report i thought you said you liked like, this one yeah yeah he looks good i feel like we never both look good at the same time it's either he looks good or i look good but whatever i thought it's cute like, crop but you're, bit, i think maybe. you're too hard on yourself yeah the chin i feel like him but he just like gives such good hugs and just snuggle in there uh so then i was explaining to him about lydia so i got him to record a video for lydia very um, nice and then yes this was the sure shot shirt so i was like yeah there's the guys um she was super fun i liked her uh and this is her she was very nice her. yes why do i want to say her name is amanda am i wrong 
I'm sorry, I do not recall. Sorry. My name right now. I think Diane. we just said hey, and that's about it. I, don't I was know. so tired at that point, but I'm like, they were lovely too. So yes. Yeah, they were very um, nice. And then our friend Deli um, was there. Because we're like, oh my god, Deli Goo has to be there. She goes to everything. Mm-hmm. And, and she was fairly close to where she lives. I believe she's in New York. So uh, yep. we always see Deli at O Town thing. So love it. She went to the she show uh, before in Pittsburgh because her favorite is when it's an O Town show. Um, and Lines and Insert was one of her favorites. So she's like, yes, yeah, this was awesome. And she did say that the VIP for that one was like all acoustic. And I believe she said yeah. it was a piano or something. Something like, like that. Yes, I believe like, so. Very nice. So she didn't do a VIP for this show, but she had done one the day before in Pittsburgh. Um, yes. Yes. And then she took, what did she say she took? She took a bus? She took I'm the Amtrak. Amtrak train. Amtrak, yeah. Yes. Which, uh, yes. So there was that. Um, so then this was some of the merch they have. So they have posters, mm-hmm. uh, the selfies. And so you there was no, there was no lineup at this table. So I was like, I'm going to buy the VIP right now. So, yeah, so that, there was like no lineup at the, that table so yeah. i was like yes i'm gonna buy the vip now instead of waiting at the end of the night to get it yeah instead of waiting at the end uh yes. ryan cabrera had some merch he had a um signs like song lyrics that he would come out and sign for you um there was some stickers and stuff for bb uh, mac the shirts the chris one i just i don't like this shirt this chris one somebody had Not this I don't even know what it is. Some sort of zombie thing, this Kirkpatrick thing. But she had bedazzled it, and it looked fabulous because she. It looked everything looks better with glitter and Actually, jewels, right? Absolutely, so, it's more and fun. I do, it too. And I do like this one. That I like the boys in the band. I'm like, oh, cute. Yeah, be Mac. So like reasonably priced shirts. If you wanted shirts, <laughs> they're like thirty bucks. I've seen them way more at other concerts. So yes, like um, Nick's was like forty five. Yeah. Uh, then you can have a BB Mac after show thing with 75 bucks. Um, I've done, I we didn't do any BB Mac this time, but I've done in the past and they are delightful men, lovely British accents, and they smell so good and they give really good hugs. So if you have the chance for a BB Mac one, they are fun. So when we were walking into our Chris VIP, the BB Mac one was letting out. So they were like hanging out and chatting with people, but like the people Very nice. just on their VIP, but yeah, it was cute um and then the chris photo op as well so then we found like a sign that had uh all the guys there very excited we're very excited to go see the show yeah so this was the the ballroom so very like flat in chairs yeah i just uh, like i said it was just like one floor it wasn't like on the top yeah it wasn't like there was nothing um escal- escalated what is that thing called Elevated, elevated? I don't know. yeah so, yeah, so and then i was to... like Kinsia, let's take a photo in the front room so we did so we took picture and then this is stephanie <laughs> so she uh i met her in mexico so she is ryan cabrera's wife alexa alexa bliss bliss's cheerleading coach from high school so they've stayed friends over the years she's done stuff with them she i recognize her because she uh took some photos with alexa bliss on her instagram Mm -hmm. so So she's a close friend of their family and stuff and she remembered me from last year i was like wonderful i made um alexa and ryan this really cute baby onesie with um, their baby's name on it so um yeah so i give that to them mexico and then we had joel Love Joel. He's love him. He's the best. So lovely. Love him. Adorbs. Uh, they had free water, which was delightful. And oh my I god! Drank Can I just say, I saw some girls uh, grab some waters, and then I was like, oh, I guess they're free. So I grabbed some waters, and she was like, oh, is this free? I'm like, apparently, let's grab a few. I was so dehydrated at this point. Like I drank so many. They were like half bottles. But like I think I, we got then, like six at one point. I, I was drinking a lot. I gave them to the girl and her husband who were near us um in our original seats. Yeah, did, uh, you, did she buy hers? Yeah. She ended up buying like a full size one because she didn't know. But there was like there was just this tub by the door that had ice. And we're like, what the hell? And you dig in and then there's all these bottles. We're like, all right. So I'm like, gonna keep going for more water. So we put free water, shit. always good. Then I had some stomach issues, so then I missed most of Ryan Cabrera's set. But I note it, um, but we still got to be to go. fair. 
he what it didn't seem like he was prepared so which is funny because it's not like he's not done this show like a million times but right um, because he was saying like oh um i guess it would have been better to do a sound check but you this is the real sound check then it was very funny i was like oh my god he's yeah he's um it was very short it didn't seem like a half an hour went by I, feel like been, he... I only got the last few songs oh i totally forgot i have notes on this i feel like he like went very quickly because it was like so fast yes so no, like, i missed no? like the first he did do a few songs before i got out there um but then uh as of there he had he played true which is one of his singles yeah uh then he had guitar troubles which he seems to have every single time we have, i've seen him in concert i feel like there's not one time i've gone to a show with ryan cabrera where he's not had guitar troubles so this is not the only artist who had troubles with oh the there mic. was yes there was yeah. troubles lighting later <laughs> the lighting was shit um oh my god is- so he ended up having guitar troubles halfway through. So he's like, we're just going to sing this acoustically, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And then he finished um, with On the Way Down. So that's probably why it was short, show. because of the mic not working really and the lighting. Yes. Uh, so then my my husband, Chris, came out. Uh, he has some shaves going on here with like kind of like a mohawk kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then BB and Mac. He introduced BB Mac, and he's like, "These are my favorite guys. They opened for us on the InSync tour." Yes, back so, in the day. There's Sophia standing away from me. <laughs> uh, there was you, like an you, area. What what happened? I feel like you. So went my friend Courtney time. was going to be serenaded. So, but where I was standing with you, I couldn't see because there's tall people in front of me because I'm short. So I scooched off to the side to see if I could get like a better angle, which I I, did get a better angle of the people, but then there was also equipment there. So it wasn't like the greatest, but. uh, I didn't know that you went until after I was like, Oh, that makes sense. Cause her friend is up there. That makes sense. She went went up to go like it's serenaded, but she was serenaded on the other side of the stage. So yeah, Uh, I do have that video up on our YouTube page though. So yes. Um, So basically BB Mac just stuck with their same set list as they normally do. So out of my head and i must say i do remember some of these songs right there's these and i was hits. like yes i do recall this and then i just sang along i was like wow this the is YTV... your first time seeing bb mac right yeah and i was like wow the ytv hit list really like came back to me clearly yes <laughs> so and then there was this like invisible like area that people did not there was no barricade but they were all just two feet back from the stage it was very strange to me yes so the reason why we went up there is because our seats were all the way at the back our seats sucked and there was and when i came back from the bathroom for the second time i noticed that there was all these empty seats in the front and Sophia had come out or something. I can't remember. I ran into you. Maybe you were getting more water or something. I was getting more water. And I was like, hey, let's go over here. And we're like, let's go check this area. So we just, we did not stand in front of anybody who was there. We stood on the side behind them. So yeah. it was not like, so anyone who had those front seats were still there. We did not push our way. We were at the end of the stage behind. We just yeah. kind of joined the crowd. There was no pushing. It was a very like chill. It was a pretty good view from where we were it was very enjoyable so yeah so that was that so they did um so out of my head still on your Mm -hmm. side next time and that's our friend courtney was serenaded Mm -hmm. um i can tell more than words unpredictable ghost of you and me and then obviously back here uh so then chris came out again (laughs) and then at this point the venue is like okay cool go back to your seats so we're like oh okay so apparently you were only allowed to stand at the front for the opening acts so uh, so then o-town was gonna come on and then chinsy and i are like let's go over there because i said we see lots of people still going over there in the middle we were yes okay we were we were legit the last row we yes. had really sh- so i'm not condoning i'm not trying we did not push anyone we did not go anywhere we just sat where there was then there was some empty space so we were there but then those people came back and then a whole bunch of people were like up to the state so they had pushed back the stage area um, but then there was people in the aisles. So we're like, okay, we'll just go for a couple of songs. And then when security tells us to sit down, we'll go sit down. But, but security, security did not never it. came. So we're like, okay, good for staying here. 
we're just going to stay in the aisle, which is funny because then we ran into some of our other friends who had seats in that area. Ooh, I just accidentally unplugged my camera. Um, and so we were just kind of like standing in the aisle with like people that we like who around that area. But again, we were not pushing to get closer. If people were trying to get in front of us. We let them go. So it's not like I'm just short and it's hard. And I have like this concert thing where I need to be close, but and the tickets. Hey, anyway, they allowed us to go. They allowed us. Security didn't it go. Was one, very day, one point, I had my hand in a heart, and then I got tapped on the back, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And then the guy's like, "Can you do that again? I'm taking a picture." I was like, "Okay, sure, bud." Like that's awesome. Had a photographer guy with them for this show. For some yes, time. the guy uh, was singing along as he was doing the videos slash pictures, and he liked yeah. the okay. comment. Uh, of one of his posts so i was like yes and then old town also liked a comment about that yeah. about the 15 hour bus ride gotta love old town so, so yeah all so, in all it was wonderful it was wonderful for the most part except for the first three song uh first song or two they had no lights on them yes it was there very was no dark light on the stage it was dark and at first they were light. very nice about it and then they're like um then they're like can you turn, turn on, on the lights, lights. from the stage and then at one point this like blinding light came from behind us and we're like oh my god we're being arrested and they're like no this is just the and then stage. at one point like um dan and jacob went to the side and told whoever was on the side like hello the mics the lighting like yeah so they were like um, this is not the first time that some of this has happened. I feel like uh, when we went to that other concert, what when is it called? At that, in Niagara Falls, when they were yes, that there was like sardines. We were like so like yeah. yeah. But this one is a casino, so you think they would have the ability to have proper lighting and things like that? But yes. Anyways, uh, mostly the same. So that's uh, why set. it was. I was like, oh, they shortened it, the sets. So I was like, it probably was shortened. The they had and the taken mic. out a couple of songs, so they basically did the Sweet Dreams intro, uh, Liquid Dreams, Hello Back Girl, Chasing After You, Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk. And they're like, oh, town, funk yeah. you up, oh, town, funk oh, you, you up. It was so good. Uh, it's getting hot in here. Um, and then, yeah, O-Town, fuck you up. So that was all together. Um, then um, LF Brad comes out. His seemed really fast. Like, I feel um, like they did not do his um, full songs. I feel like they cut yeah. out some. They seem short. I feel like, yeah. I feel like so, yeah. I feel like that they as well. They also cut out a couple of his uh, song or two. But basically, it was West Side Story every other time. I freaking love that song. That's so good. Uh, then the Water Girls came out. And then he talked about Rich and Devin very briefly uh girl on tv and then summer girl so it was like his yeah. grad part was like super fast i don't know I yeah i feel uh, like it felt fast too then we all sang happy birthday to trevor yeah uh, and can i just say fun fact i've now been uh two concerts where we sang to one of the boy band members happy yes, birthday you had donnie Wahlberg and donnie summer. Wahlberg in august at the new kids concert and now this one yes very cool sadly there was no Very cake nice. i was hoping for cake but nothing it's like these cheap casino people uh so then they did we fit together maybe he had cake uh after or before the show yeah, yeah. you never know you never know um yeah so and then they did their little medley of treat you better get a get your freak on i need you right now cry me a river um the the fans around us who are big uh, NSYNC fans were screaming out to Crimea River. It was good. It was there was a lot of fun energy. Like I feel like people in the good. crowd were very hyped. Because sometimes when you go to these casino shows, they give out free tickets to old people who don't care that are the high rollers. Yeah. I did not see that at this. This actually no, I feel like it was the actual like townies fans. Yeah, I feel like it was all of us so the same was, age kind of. Yes. Yeah. So I felt that that was really good. So, yeah. so they did that. Uh, wiping each other's sweat off. I don't know what the heck. Chris <laughs> came out. Oh my God. Can I just say, so sorry. Um, then they did their flight playing with fire medley, which is dynamite in heaven. Uh, so good. Was talking about who has been to an O-Town show. Um, then Trevor was shouting out all the openers. Then Chris came out and I don't have a picture of this. I oh, I do go to my Instagram. Okay. Uh, 
Un momento, por favor. Oh my God. When we saw it, it was great. We were like, this is amazing. Fritz knows his audience so well. Share this tab. Okay. There's them dancing and doing their thing. Is it in this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you see it? <laughs> okay. It's kind of hard to see on this screen. Oh, no. There's more. There's more. Go back. Hat. Go forward. Sorry. There's forward? another one that's close. There, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he had his old, like, white and uh, black dreadlocks and his yellow oh goggles as, like, a amazing. hat. So he came out and sang Tear Out My Heart. They used to call him was... Pineapple, right? pineapple head yeah i yeah. was dying it was i was so dying funny. too that's hilarious so i finished so i was filming tearing i don't think i actually uploaded my mute i gotta upload those um so he did tearing up my heart and then i went to go switch to go take a picture and he had already taken the hat off and i was like oh yeah geez. i got a few but like look how fun like this is freaking hilarious so funny so good we were dying. We and so he did an so extra funny. song he did a dirty pop usually they just do three songs yeah, he did. It's going to be me. And then he did a combo of I Want You Back, DJ Gus Falling in Love Again, Lose Yourself, because they love to do that. Chris Kirkpatrick would get your ass kicked. Yeah. Um, and then he did Pop, uh, Bye Bye Bye. Bye Bye Bye. Yeah. Yes, they did that. And then they're like, we have one song left. And then they're like, fly, Eagles, fly. And I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? So I Football, guess the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles this is their um i guess winning song, a song guess. or like mantra song that they sing to get you hyped for the football game for philadelphia eagles and then i don't know if and then the boys on stage sing the song or did just the no crowd the, fans, sing the, song? the fans were singing it quite the intense like fly eagles fly it was song. very intense and then there was one fan that was booing them and they're like i'm not a philly fan i'm a dallas cowboys fan i'm like do not say that in front of all these fans yeah. <laughs> you might get beat up it was it was pretty funny it was obviously it didn't yes. happen so, but you never know you never know um so then obviously they finished with all or nothing which is the classic song to end it it's a really great way to finish your like hype to your like yes this is the song you're like singing um your heart out basically yeah it's great so it's very good uh and then we stuck around for the um uh, meet and greet after with show Town. selfie after show selfies which and they put us in a different rows of seating area so one section had BB Mac, one section has Chris Kirkpatrick, one section had yeah. O-Town. Then they lined us up. The guys yes. came out pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, it was fairly quickly. So Sophia has never done so an after show. I've never done one. Selfie. So I was like, oh, let's uh, do one. Line with them. So she's like, I don't. And then, can we just say, Chenzi and I were very tired because, as you all know, we traveled all that. We did not sleep (laughs) very much. We had been up the whole time. I was now falling asleep in the chairs, and Um, I was like, Chenzi, yeah, they're they're right over there. They're on their way. I was just like, that's fine. They can see. So, um, so then we lined up. Was, yeah, we'd been up for quite some time. Yeah, so we lined up. And so then how it, it works was... is it goes, so Eric comes out first. Yes. Yeah. So um, Eric comes out first, and then they wait like five people. Then Dan comes out. Then another five no, people. No, it was Jacob. Jacob. And Trevor. Jacob was like, he wanted to get it done. He could tell he wanted to get it over with. So by Jacob one point, yeah. Erica, Erica, Eric and Jacob were like close, so close. He's like, yeah, can you hurry it up? Let's speed it up. No, it was pretty funny. Yeah, Eric, he got close to Dan. He caught up to Dan. So that was. Oh, I thought uh, he caught, got up close to Eric. Sorry. Well, I was getting close to him too. So yeah. So then there's, there's Sophia's pictures. Yeah. Jacob has some sort of mustache going on. It's, uh, it's a choice. I, we love Jacob, but maybe not that. Yeah. Um, you know what, he's, he's a married man. Who is he impressing? That's if his wife likes the mustache. You go for it, buddy. Uh, I mean, Dan, the man. And obviously. So I just want to say about. each, I told each boy we came 15 hour bus ride just for you guys. 
Um, it was very good. Well worth the trip. You guys always put on a good show. Basically told all of them the same. We got hugs. It was very nice. Uh, they always it was um, birthday, they gave lots of uh, selfies. You know how you just get one selfie? They gave four. Or they three. give a bunch. They just try to do it. Some of them, they have their little ring light camera, like the light. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. So apparently, previous, they never had a ring light. And now they always have one. They did at one point. Then they got rid of it. And then mm -hmm. were like, Joel, what the hell? And then, like, Trevor will sometimes come out with it. He always had better lighting. Like, he, Trevor is the lighting man. Um, but then... It was last year in Cleveland. I'm like, Joel, what the hell? And he's like, well, I got to, somebody has to like keep them all charged and like make sure that they have the lighting. So I'm like, yeah, buddy, I think that's you. You as being their tour guy. I think that's your job. And he was just, <laughs> anyway, they all had them this time. So yes. good lighting. Which is um, really good because there was good lighting. True. So and it was then, Trevor's birthday, obviously. So we oh, told him so happy birthday. Yep. And also he had, uh, let's see, like some people were giving him presents and this one girl gave him like, I think she just thought it was an LA Lakers keychain or something, but I guess it had a screwdriver in it. And Trevor was so excited about this gift. Like, I feel like it shocked the girl that Trevor was so excited. Um, he's like, that, I wanted to like, buy one after the tour, broke. but now he's like, I don't have to. So thank you he's very like, much. My sunglasses are broken. I can use the <laughs> screwdriver to fix them. And he was like, he was so thrilled. Like the joy yeah. that this man had, it was pretty entertaining. Um, and I'm yes. sure that fan was like, yes, thank you so much. It made her feel good. Mm. Definitely. So like, they're just like such genuine guys. And then I was and then telling you them asked, about uh, Lydia. You asked each of them for Lydia's video. So they all recorded a little video, like wishing Lydia well and all that stuff. Yes. Uh, so those are up on our YouTube page as well. It was very it was nice. Album. All four of them did a great job with the videos. Very good. So uh, Dan and uh, Jacob were together in one video, but Eric did his one and then Trevor had his. So it was very, uh, as you can see by the Trevor one, I was so tired that my expression, I don't know what the heck's going on my face there. I was. You were just confused. like, yes. You were just, you just so were like, tired. yes. You agreed with everything. I agreed. It was good. So, oh yeah. So these are my pictures. Oh, and then show, show us how tired we were. Like, show us how tired. Oh, Trevor's shoes were so cute. These are Trevor's, right? I think they were Trevor's. Uh, yes. Or maybe they were Dan's shoes. Must have been. One of them had very nice zebra shoes. They were very cute. I was very excited. Um, where is the picture of me being tired? It's right there. The one by the so bracelet. This, is, this one is slightly tired. We're still at the casino. So then this was all over by like... 11 30 no i think it was like 12 ish yeah um but we didn't have to catch our bus until 3 30 so we had like a good three out three and a bit hours to spare and obviously we don't gamble and have so we just kind of like hung out in the food court this gatorade cost me five dollars and 40 cents <sighs> and did not quench my thirst i was still thirsty after and then i went and bought food. some garlic uh rosemary fries i guess maybe i was like really hungry so i was like oh these are great <laughs> so this is the the bus so then we took a, a lift to um the the bridge that we have to catch our bus under oh my god and, and the, the, and the lift like, driver almost didn't find us First of all, he couldn't find us, even though I had pinpointed where we were at the casino. And eventually I'm like, hey, buddy, we're like right under where the car drop off is area. But anyways, uh, so he's like, OK. And then he's like but getting he to the it. destination. And then he's like, um, where am I dropping you guys off? I'm like, yep, under this bridge. And he's like, OK. <laughs> so there was other people waiting, obviously also some homeless people. But I have to say that even though it was under the bridge, it did have some pretty lights under the bridge. It was very colorful. Still a weird place. Still a weird place to have a pickup. This was the I bench feel like you could kind like of sit bus on, but not really. Greyhound bus just chooses like a random spots, like a gas station, a Seven Eleven, really anywhere that they can find somewhere they can stop. It doesn't. I don't think they care where. So this was on the other side. So I don't know if this was actually somewhere you could go inside and go to the bathroom. It just looked like a staircase. So I don't know what Spring Garden was but yes that was on the other side and mm -hmm. this is me 
sleep. So, okay. So mm-hmm. now I definitely slept from Philly to New York this time. Yes. It was about a two hour thing. Even though the bus was super full, yes. I was half off the seat because these seats were tiny as F. And the bus is like flinging you around. Oh, it was and, so bumpy. And they were like so flat. Like it was, it was like sitting on a piece of wood. It was not cushioned at all. It was just, and then the one guy, when it, people were pret- either pretending to sleep or didn't want to move. So the one guy was just going to stand and the bus driver's like yelling and he just takes off. So finally this guy stumbles to a seat in the dark. It was like, it was interesting. So then we dropped people off in New Jersey and most people got off. And then it was like another 20 minutes to New York. So I power napped there really quick. And then we get there and every other time I've gone to New York, we've gone underground to the bus station. This time yeah. we literally just pulled up onto a, onto a sidewalk in the dark. Cause it's like five 30 in the morning and they're like, okay, everybody off for New York. I was like, where the hell are we what do you mean we're in new york like this is the last stop everybody off so we like okay so we like get off and it's free so this is where we stopped where i stopped off before when i was going to connecticut for 90s con okay they also stopped off from there so basically it's right near madison square garden and yes. then Sophia's like, oh, let's just go inside this building. I'm like, what building? I'm like half asleep. I'm disoriented. I have no idea what's going on. We stumble it's across the street. It's train station. And it's the Amtrak train station. Yes. It's Penn, Penn, Penn Station. Penn Station. Station. Yeah. Yeah. But I was just like, so, ca- and my brain was not computing. And I was just like, <laughs> we're supposed to be on a bus. Why are we at a train station? And then I was like, I have to pee. So we went to the bathroom. We got some chapstick because we were like, Oh my god, our we were oh my god, our lips were so red. Like, holy shit. Oh my god. We like chugged some water and then yes, like, we bought okay. two bottles of water the first round with chapstick. Yeah. And then we went another round and we got four bottles of water. Just more it was more water the merrier. <laughs> yes. uh, but as you can see, I'm very half asleep at this point. This was probably I was so tired too. I was we like, oh my god. The bench. We were like, okay, we'll just plug in and try to charge up our phones. Yes, because but they didn't there was have no any phone. plugs either. Oh, I was so mad. There was no plug. So we were like, basically our phone is dead. And I was like, okay, well, I need to get to home. So anyway, so. False advertising because they say that they have plugs that are usable. when we got on the other bus, the final bus to take us back, it's like plug, it said outlets. So we're like, okay, cool. So there were outlets, but there was no power to the outlets. They were just not there. So they were... Anyways, our guy ended up driving and he was a strange little healthy man that every time we stopped at a stop, he would go and start doing like, what is it called? Calisthenics? Were you like Calisthenics. And then he was like, at one point he went around the bus and he did like his arms and his legs. And I was, I was like, like, you know what? Good for you, more buddy. More power to you, yeah, you know, we've been on this bus for a while. Yeah. Might as well. And then we basically got stuck at the Buffalo airport for a bit because our mm-hmm. ride didn't pick us up right away. And then, then we oh, ended the bus up station. bus station, not airport. Sorry. It yeah. was a bus station. So, yeah. And then there were some interesting cats there. For example, we put our coats on a chair, which usually is the universal sign of this chair is taken. Yeah. And this gentleman just sat on the ch- our, our coats and bags and we're like, I guess because we weren't sitting there. He's like, this is free game. I have no idea. But there was also empty seats around. I know. It was very strange. I think he was talking to the one guy. So then we ended up talking to this one lady. Oh, and and then thank goodness the bus station had plugs so we could charge our phone. Mm Mm-hmm. I tra- mine charged to 100%, so that was good. Yeah, so it was uh, interesting. So, yeah. Uh, and then we dropped Sophia off at the bus, and she ended up missing the bus by one minute or two minutes. What? Was- two minutes? Ugh, so- uh, but then, because Taylor Swift was in town, they do express bus. So I didn't have to wait that long, 50 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. It was fine. Okay. That's good. And then I got home around 9.15. Yes. So basically, so when I got to Union Station, I took a taxi, and then you know, I got like, at some point you just want to be not not want to hear a public transit. I do anymore. not want to go on a subway anymore or a bus. So I just took just a to taxi. From Union to your house. What's it? Another forty minutes or? Yes, forty-five. Yeah. So, so. I can understand why it t- and the taxi was what 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. 
about that. Yep. I was like, yeah, I'm good. And then I was like, don't fall asleep in the taxi because you never know what will happen. But I didn't fall asleep. So that's fine. Did you fall asleep when you got mm-hmm. home, though? Uh, like half an hour later. Yep. That was, uh, then there was the great cup. So then I was like, okay, Jonas brothers are playing. I gotta, oh, my, yes. my mom was having Sorry. a party. I did. I watched the great cup cause, um, the Argos were playing. And then I was like, wow, am I good luck? They're winning now. What is this? And then they, and they were like, kept scoring. And then I was like, 24 points. What is this? It's and then they won the, home and they won the great cup. I was like, fantastic. I missed the Jonas brothers, but um, I saw the Argos win the cup, the great cup. So yeah. the Joe Burrow concert was pretty good. It was, yeah, yeah, it was well, nice. Most of the hits did not have year three. He did like, they did like eight songs. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they did quite a few. It was actually pretty good. Yeah. I feel like it could have been a little more over the toppy, but eh, it's what it is. Hey, they got the job done. It did. It was good. It so sense. it was awesome. Although a lot of all my mom's friends were there just chit chatting over it, so I only kind of partially heard it. I was like, okay, I'm trying to watch. So that. then it then the, then it ended, and then I was like, hey, um, that's great. It got me hyped. That's exciting. And then I went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and then they're like, there's a championship rally. Oh, okay, you um, went to that at Maple Leaf Square, and um i went on my lunch break because i had a break in between and i was like what are the chances that my lunch break as the time that i can go see this championship nice. rally so when the when they got on uh, the stage and showed um the great cup and they did like the confetti and then the champagne like um i was like this is beautiful and then i left i literally yeah, talked right. to i saw the important stuff i saw through. the important stuff i don't need to hear the speeches it's fine i've seen the speeches before because they they've won um a lot of great cups way to rub it in there friend the last great cup they won is in 2022 so so okay the last great cup the tie cats won was i don't know 99 maybe i don't know that's a good question i think i think what i read was this was their ninth great cup win okay is that so cool yes it is that is pretty impressive uh last time we won was i don't know (laughs) Wait, oh, why don't I just put Grey Cup winners list by year? Here we go. Okay, so you said they just won. So they won 2022. So they won that. So that was 2024. They also won in 2022. And then they won. I feel like they won the at the 100th Grey Cup as well. Uh, let's check that out. Yep, they did the hundredth, so they did twenty twelve as well. Yes, I am looking for Hamilton. Okay, so apparently the last time we won was in nineteen ninety nine. So it has been a little while since we've won. And even though the Hamilton uh, chant is Argo suck, mm-hmm. the Argos have won, I believe, five times since Argo suck. They're the best, clearly. And we have the best uh, executive on the Argos, Mike Pinball Clemens. He has won four times. To- I think the, um, he's won five times as an executive, three times as a player. So, okay. And one time as a coach, I believe. Still around, eh? Good for him. Uh, so it looks he like sure is. And he brought his mom to the Great Cup as well. And that was her first time. Mom, mom was, I don't know. Maybe she didn't go to the venue. Who knows? I don't know. If my son was playing in the Grey Cup, I would go to all of them, but you know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they have something. I don't know. Maybe there was a reason why she couldn't go. I don't know. That's true. But yeah, he he is the nicest man. I remember him from grade seven because he came and spoke about, uh, um, what was it? He at our assembly in grade seven at Westwood. I want to say it was about either drugs or domestic violence, something of like that. Okay, I met him when we were a country radio station, and we were doing a breast cancer fundraiser, and I think his mom may have had it or something. So, 
he was uh, yes and where we sat he sat in front of me with his wife and i was Ooh. that's what i remember vip seating over there <laughs> even back then because after because i think what what happened was you just the first come first serve wherever you sit and then i guess they had it opened the the first rows were like open and then we're like oh i wonder why that is and then he him and his wife came to sit i'm like okay this makes sense why they left it open <laughs> there you go all right well in conclusion very fun trip to philly got to cross a bunch of things off uh our bucket um, list bucket list i was like checklist i was like mm, i don't know <laughs> the bucket list so if you're ever in philly go check those spots out i'm sure there's more things that you could do but as a rocky fan those are the main things that you want to do are your main things um and then we got to go to a concert as well uh vip to end the night and the great cup champions the toronto argonauts capped off the weekend beautiful there you go uh if you are looking to see o-town there's a few more shows left this year uh they are doing one on friday december 20th at the hard rock casino in cincinnati uh, and they just finished touring with nick carter on his who am i tour so jealous and mad yeah. that i cannot get them in canada who I, sorry who i am tour sorry who i am tour i would get him um, yes so nick uh brought out town out for a few of the shows in california and texas and texas yeah so they got to do that i would love to see nick and o-town together i think that would be great i would love to as well I think it would go well here. We saw Old Town and Aaron together. Might as well see the other brother together. Might as well. But um, before and, went then, to... and apparently Old Town, he, 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 they said in the comments that they'll be touring in 2025. So there hopefully go. there's okay. a date in Toronto. Yes. So, so far, all they have, they have four things left for this year. So they have the Cincinnati show on Friday, December 20th <laughs> on Saturday, December 21st, they're going to be in Balt South Baltimore, Maryland for something called the Famous Tail Goat. Uh, it's some sort of Steelers thing. I don't know. It's oh, and they're going on a Tampa Bay cruise. Yes. Yeah, I was getting. Yeah. So they're doing. Uh, so it's O-Town and Chris at the Tail Goat. Um, and it's like all oh, you can eat seafood and something. I don't know. It's very confusing. Uh, and then on March 7th, they're going to be on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cruise. This is like uh, Nick's perfect thing. How come he's not and that's going? What I, said. I was like, perhaps you should take Nick with you. And then they're like, oh, and they like hearted that and liked that comment. I was like, listen, that's great. That would be great. Um, it would be great. Be fun. And it's much cheaper than a regular cruise. Like it's not. He would have a great a boy band cruise. So I'm curious to see how many times O-Town's going to perform. Like it had already been on sale um mm. by the time they announced o-town but it just came as like a random like it's a three-night cruise it's march 7th to 10th um and it's on celebrity cruise line and prices start at 6.99 per person which Not includes bad. unlimited drink wi-fi and gratuity so i'm like that's pretty good because they usually don't that is that. good yeah so, um because uh if you go to like another one it wasn't only an hour of free drinks and the boys only uh yeah bought them for an hour and the bsb cruise member yes so i'm trying to find where i just found this page did i just but that's it? exciting like and it's only for three days so nick technically could yeah go. so basically it's like a weekend thing so yeah because what day is march 7th hold on one second so if you want information on that you can go to tampa bay bucks cruise.com um and let me just double check here so it's march 7th to 10th which is a friday to a monday see that's so perfect like, yeah so that's great if you're you know don't want to take too much time off work or whatever if you're a tampa bay buccaneers fan there will be a lot of players there there's going to be yeah. things and it looks like o-town is doing two headlining performances um for the cruisers only there's going to be sail away party trivia bingo fun cocktail nights and stuff all right these are all the players that are going not that i, I don't That's know cool. who them are but it's exciting um yeah maybe nick carter i don't 
don't quote me on that but this seems like a, a fun cruise that he could go on but it's true uh, and maybe he could go for like a day i don't know maybe he'd go for the day and then leave yes uh and then the very last thing which i don't think we've talked about yet um is lady world have we talked about that yet i think we shared it yes i believe we have okay. So uh, they're also doing, it's presented by Elf Cosmetics. Uh, so it's Lady World. It's in Miramar Beach, Florida, September 26th to 28th. And it's like, uh, has a whole bunch of influencer people. This one's a bachelorette, Caitlin Bristow. Uh, oh, yeah. Like podcaster people. Uh, and then Sugar uh, Mark McGrath of Sugar Ray. Chris from Sync, O Town, LFO, Ryan Cabrera, BB Mac will be there. And then it's the kind of like, tour. like um, they have basically, and it has like these little coves. So it's kind of like, um, oh my God, what am I, like a festival, if you will. So they have oh, yeah. these things, and then there's like certain mm -hmm. sections you sit in and with your friends, and it's supposed to have everything included and all that jazz, like the hotel and everything. So it's a little pricey. Um, Mira, mar beach florida is kind of more north florida so there's not really any good flight areas when i was looking but uh yeah anyways would be a fun weekend um and it seems a little more realistic than uh the one that they just canceled the pop 2000 in mexico so hopefully this one is not going to get canceled and is going to be good so i think it probably will be don't quote me on that it sounds like a fun thing, but uh, I don't know. Maybe fifty-fifty chance that it will be okay and it won't get no, canceled. Said trip insurance, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's near Pensacola, Florida. Is that where it's located? So, nice. um, yes. Yeah. So, but yeah, they seem to have like they're gonna have gifting lounges. They're gonna have cocktail parties and other things like that. So, fun time. So usually, yeah. O Town starts announcing. I can't even say usually. I know that they'll they'll be doing a bunch of shows next year. Don't you worry about it. So they yeah, they said twenty twenty five they're going to be touring. So mm -hmm. hopefully Toronto's on the list. Still haven't heard anything on Backstreet Boys what they're doing yet. They're big announcement. Um, they're they also random... yeah. So apparently they have a TikTok store now. Yeah, I didn't really understand that. It was and then weird. Nick was like, "Stay tuned for things that are coming up." And I was like. like mm -hmm. Hmm. The things that AJ was supposed to announce in September that never happened, and it's November, mm -hmm. almost December now. It's almost uh, December. Next week then, will be December. That's true. And then AJ announced a really big surprise, and it was basically him uh, releasing a bobblehead, not a bobblehead, a, a Funko Pop, pop. Um, autographed and limited edition and stuff mm -hmm. for two hundred and fifty dollars. So, and it but, sold very well. It was almost sold out the other day. I don't know if it's sold out now. There was about 25 left, but uh, I don't know. And so I was like, hmm, all right, good for you, buddy. I think because it was personalized, and then you can, like, I guess, get something as well, like to who your name. And then yeah. His hand is going to be cramping, signing all that stuff. It's not new music, but it's something. So, yeah, there you go. I didn't wonder what it, what it could be. Is it really going to be the Millennium 2.0, or is it going to be something totally different? you never know with the backstreet boys and why is it very secretive i feel like because they don't actually have a plan and that's, <laughs> or it takes a long time to plan these things i get the logistics the, right logistics and all that stuff but uh, yeah. but like it's been a long time since new music i think because covid right covid made it Mm -hmm. Seem longer. TNA was the last album, so I don't even. Yeah. Speaking of new albums, O Town, my friends, maybe you should also release a new album because. And maybe like ninety degrees, she'll get a move oh on. Oh my god! Their album. I forgot about that. When is that? Back to the new year, right? Do they say December or January? Oh, February, I think. Right? They said February, and then they changed it to January, I think. Ninety degrees has been doing some touring. Nothing near Canada. Um, as for usual, nobody comes here. Apparently, people used to like this country. Just saying. I don't understand. Is it because of the conversion or like what is going on? Uh, no, the dollar is great for them. Terrible. For well, them. then I don't understand why they're not coming. I don't know. It it is a lot more work to cross things and with merch and things like that. But also maybe like maybe the you know, the artists well, well if you came here because maybe the venues are all booked. 
who knows so. because i feel like artists are booking um far in advance now yeah so, so basically every time we see o-town and joel we're like hey buds gonna come to canada what's gonna and then joel's like i'm not the one who plans it so and so plans, plans it, it. I think he said his name was either Mark or Mike. I'm like, I don't know who this person is. He's like, Hey, how about Mark and Mike? Uh, help us out Toronto. Let's go. Let's do this. But anyways, <laughs> fingers crossed that 2025 is going to be a good boy band year. So hopefully we got something. And if 98 degrees finally released the album, maybe they'll be touring the album. So. Yeah. Although I feel like this year wasn't too bad of a boy band no, year. A good boy band year. Uh, Nick Carter did three shows. We did a VIP yep old town i don't yeah i think that's it no they're the only ones we care about really let's, <laughs> well, that's true. let's be honest here so that's true uh, so yeah so nick and o-town if you want to hook up next year and then have chris there as well i think that would be a really great shinzia palooza <laughs> absolutely i would enjoy it immensely yeah. as well yeah. oh my god we totally also forgot to mention that the unicorn has come out JC Shazay oh, from oh Instinct. God, this unicorn again. He did yes. a Anne Juliet hosting slash sing along thing. Yes. And he, so he released that Playing with Fire album, which we did not review, but I didn't really listen. A to couple anything. of friends went to their the signing. They went to the signing. So he actually and had people were like time. got pictures and they were so excited. And they're like, oh my God, who would have thought like nobody that was- NSYNC is not even together and they got a picture with JC? Yeah, exactly. It's like four out of five of them were doing things. Well, I guess Justin's also doing things, but he's not doing <laughs> meet and greet. He he's the one doing the most biggest one, the big concert tour. So yeah. Um, but I don't believe he does meet and greets. I don't think so. But I've there several of our friends, um, our fandom friends have met like all f- other four members of Insync this year. Yeah, so a good Insync year. So yeah it's uh yeah and i retweeted a whole bunch of uh pictures that they got from jc um the mission and sync went and got four of them i think was the number that i saw um got a picture with him so i was like fantastic some people were like did the stage door thing after the and juliet but apparently it was just so busy that he didn't really get to do too much crowd interaction and stuff but yeah so that's awesome Mace, congratulations very to everyone. With the support and i was like jc obviously people are going to support you like that's you. quite i understand like lance was like oh we didn't think that they would care i'm like have you met the fandom people like damn it lance, we go on support. the ride forever yeah we're ride or die ride or die yeah. baby yeah so, yeah so uh fingers crossed that something happens within sync next year but i don't know who knows <sighs> baby steps baby i feel like i want i want to be positive and be like yes but i feel like maybe the two solo songs may be the only thing but i think that's okay because you never thought that it could be possible of like having that one song let alone two new songs that is also true when is justin's tour finish is it this year is it next year i have no idea maybe next year uh january oh yeah no it's definitely going into 20 jesus it's going to july of 2025 so, so yes. 2026 will yeah. possibly be the next possible Maybe. way yeah well that sucks oh well he's doing a lot of um so he's finishing off in north america on february 3rd in austin texas mm. and he takes off to mexico oh no he does chicago okay no he has a few more um american dates american and south america like he does ohio and then he goes to argentina and then columbia that's a weird, that's a weird logistics. So, you're going from america to south america i don't know spain italy lithuania estonia norway denmark poland uk netherlands ireland luxembourg romania and then ending off right now in france on july 20th at the Lollapalooza. so um okay so i guess there's not gonna be any in sync stuff in the, at least the first half of next year but who knows who knows things could happen right well i think they've had a good year they were in their song was in deadpool That's a new true. movie 
that they had better place. It's very funny to see those TikToks of children <laughs> and the mom singing along to Bye Bye Bye. And they're like, why do you know the Deadpool song? And you're like, children? Children? <laughs> we had it before you. And then, yeah, it was Better Place. And then what's the other one? Paradise. Paradise, yeah. Two. Yeah. See? So, yeah. So they had some good stuff. So, so they had some good, a good year. And JC is developing the Playing With Fire musical. So hopefully he might get some traction with that. Uh, Joey Fatone mm-hmm. is going to be an Anne Juliet mm-hmm. in the new year. So lots of fun activities happening for the boy banders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joey well, McIntyre is currently doing something on Broadway. He's also in a new Christmas movie that's on Roku. So if you have a Roku, you can watch that one. I do not have a Roku, but maybe we'll be on YouTube. <laughs> probably, probably will go there. So yeah, lots of things going. Woo. Who knows? Maybe they might replay a boy band holiday. And maybe they could play a Backstreet Christmas holiday. That would be lovely if they did some stuff there so i feel like it, we'll never see this after they showed it to us on youtube but then they took it away yeah tis a shame it would be nice if the backstreet boys did something like did they announce any of jingle balls or anything do we know if any uh not yet that i saw probably not then oh well remember when we went to the one in canada toronto and yes. then they never did it again after that Jingle Ball Tour 2024. I was like, thank goodness we went to that one because if we didn't go, we'd be like, ah, we would have been sad because it was the only one that in Toronto at that time. Okay, so they've definitely announced Jingle Ball Tours. They're uh, going from December 3rd to the 21st, uh, but does not appear to include any boy banders, sadly, this year. Uh, nope none of these are boy banders boo Boo. damn it iheart radio what the heck come on iheart all right this episode is very long and yes but uh, to be fair we haven't had one in a while while, um i hope you all enjoyed this we enjoyed uh talking about our experience thanks for sticking around with us well uh in this little unprompted break but yes so we will be back with more episodes um and one month (laughs) and one month left until christmas can you believe it the year has gone so fast zooming by for sure so yep well all right uh thanks for taking a break with us guys until next time thanks for listening bye